Good morning, David Akubi and Bear Woods Photography here. Uh, in my last video I mentioned that I had acquired some new gear. I had purchased a, an Acrotech Nomad ball head. I've been intrigued with the the style of these things and the machining and everything else for a while. I got to have a really close hands-on experience with them up in uh, the New England Camera Club Council a couple months ago and I made the decision I was going to go ahead and invest in in the Nomad which is the least expensive. Uh, please excuse the uh, wind chimes. I'm sitting here on the front porch because it's so pretty outside today. Um, but I, I invested in the in the Acrotech Nomad ball head and I really like this thing so far. I'm going to show you some of the features uh, and why I, I invested in this thing. I really do like it. Um, sitting up here in Bear Woods yesterday uh, we had a lot of bear activity. I, I had nine or ten bears come through the yard, uh, some some cubs, everything. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get a visit today from from a bear at some point in time. So let's take a look at some of the features of the the Acrotech ball head. Okay, so taking a closer look at the ball head here, a few of the features that I really liked about it. The biggest thing for me is the weight of it. It's just under a pound um, because the sides are machined out, and that does a couple things. It go it it will number one reduce the weight but it also reduces the chances of any dirt or grime or anything else getting down into the ball head assembly itself. So on the ball head you've got four knobs. You've got one to adjust the plate tension to lock it into place. You've got a ball lock and then you've got the tension adjustment then you've got the panning control as well. So the way that the first thing you do is you release this all the way and it won't fall off because they are machined to stay on. They're locked in place. Uh, then you release your tension. You can see that it, how floppy it got. What you want to do is you want to tighten this just to the point where the tension is good with you. Um, when I put a camera on it, that's probably good right about there. Then you go ahead and you tighten this up the rest of the way again. Oops, let me make sure we get stay focused on there. Sorry about that. So you're going to make sure you do that. So that way, when you release this by about a half a turn or a quarter of a turn, it's going to give you the proper tension and everything else so you can do, do the photography. This course is self-explanatory. It just allows you to pan. So as you're on the tripod, it pans left to right. Uh, this, of course, is 39 millimeters, uh, referred to as Arca Swiss often. It's a universal plate. It also has the level adjustment on the top of it. Um, Everything about this is machined so incredibly well, and that's one thing that I really do like about this. Uh, all the etchings on the side are laser etched. It's not stenciled on there or anything else, so it's not going to to wash off or rub off. Um, but again, you know, these every one of these little things are just phenomenal. Um, this is just so smooth when you start to pan. Oh, hey, I think we got a bear coming up here. Hang on just a second. Let's uh, see if we can turn the camera around and get an image of the bear. All right, well, that was kind of neat. Uh, you know, I'd like to say it's not every day we get a bear in Bear Woods, but obviously we probably do. Um, we just don't see them every day. So I think we were we were on the, the, the knob adjustment here. Um, really smooth. It, it's what I like about it too is uh, when you go to tighten it, it doesn't it doesn't pop over to the next position. It's smooth all the way around. And I've used some ball heads in the past uh, years ago that when you would go to tighten them down it would shift over just a little bit. And this one doesn't do that, so I really like that. One big reason that I, I wanted to give these a try is the materials and everything else, the nylon, um, I'm really feeling like it's going to handle cold weather better than the ball heads I've used. The other has so much metal, it retains that cold weather. When I'm in the Tetons and it's minus 35 degrees uh, in the wintertime, um, it freezes up because you're breathing on the back of the camera. So I'm hoping that with less metal that it's going to handle the cold better. I don't know if that's going to be the case, um, but we shall see. So 
you know, that's there's there's a lot of upsides to this ball head. Um, I think that it is expensive. It's three twenty nine, three fifty, somewhere around there. Um, but you pay for quality. In photography, you you have to pay for quality sometimes in some of the accessories uh, that you're using. Um, you know, ball heads, tripods, stuff like that. You're not going to be able to get a, a good $100 tripod to go out and hold up all your gear in, in tough conditions. Um, you're not going to be able to find a $50 ball head. You're going to have to spend the money on the tripod and the ball head to give you a good sturdy base. Um, so that's, that's one thing to always consider. So those are the features that really drew me to this ball head. And you can see it's got a great design. It's, it's open all the way through on the side. Um, so I really like that. Um, I'm looking forward to getting out to Montana in a couple weeks and, and uh, putting it to the test out in the real world, getting it wet with some rivers and some other stuff and cold weather, see what happens. So I will do a video again and I'll keep you posted on that as well. But those are the features of the Acrotech Nomad ball head. So hopefully you've enjoyed the uh, short video on some of the features of the Acrotech uh, Nomad ball head. Sorry for the interruption with the bear. Um, actually, I'm not sorry for it. I think it's great. We, we love having the bears around. That's why we named it Bear Woods. Um, we get to share the woods with, with the bears. Uh, they're kind enough to let us stay here. Uh, it is their land first. So anyway, um, hopefully I showed the features well enough. Let's get a little bit you know off with the, with the bear coming through. It was kind of fun. Um, but I really am going to put it to the test in the field here in the next uh, month and next couple months. Um, and I can tell you, as of now, <clears throat> I will go ahead and invest in one of their, their more expensive ball heads that have more features in it as well, because I think it's well worth the investment. Um, you know, I, I will convert this one to be used in my, my vlogs. Uh, it's, it'll be a good addition in that part of it as, as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. So I've got a trip coming up out to Montana. We'll get some cold weather testing out there. Uh, get some river shots and some water shots as well. Um, so we'll get it wet. We'll see what it does and, and go from there. It's got a 10 year warranty, so why not? Um, I look forward to talking in the near future. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that. We're gonna continue with the content and everything that we've got and hopefully get you more involved. So thank you and until next time, we'll see you soon.